Oh, uh, what's that on Chopper Fett? No, no, Chopper Fett, no, not a, no, not another helmet. <laughs> Yeah, another helmet. This is the way. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Two Hopper Fit channel. My name is Brent, and we make the motorcycle videos and the motorcycle vlogs here on the YouTube. So yes, as I said quickly in the intro, we do have a new helmet. And I'm too sexy for my hat. Been saving this one for once I hit 1000 and now it's being presented to you. Showy GT Air 2. I have not done any test on it yet so I am hoping the settings that I have done with the RFSR carry over to this helmet. That being said that is not what the subject is here today. I'll have another day where this helmet is the subject of the review. Today I want to talk about my experience from my first ever Rawhide Harley Davidson Demo Day. Now you saw a few weeks ago, probably a week ago, two weeks ago, I'm not sure when the video was posted, but I was fortunate enough to go up and test ride two bikes at the Rawhide Harley Davidson Demo Days. I wanted to go and ride the Pan America. I put my leg on the Pan America and I hurt myself. Yeah. Yeah, I can't even make it up. I hurt myself putting a leg over the Pan America. It was the special, but they they had it like all the way jacked up and I don't know, like the seat wasn't like going down. It was it was as tall as humanly possible. And when I stretched to put my leg over it, it kind of hurt. Neither here or there though. That's not anything to do with the demo day itself. That's just a bit of a disappointment I had for myself. <laughs> So the demo day I thought was handled in a very professional manner. I got there about probably an hour early. The V-Rod was having some pulling issues, which were, turns out, all in my head. Uh, but I wanted them to look at it prior to me going out on the demo rides. So they did their little tweak and don't do it. And I proceeded to uh, walk over to the tent. Now I have signed up early for it because I really wanted to ride the Pan America. I wanted to ride it first thing. I was the first in line to ride it and then that's when I kind of tweaked my quad slash hammy, whatever my leg parts are called. After I uh, got over the embarrassment of that, I walked over to the tent and was able to switch bikes to the Lowrider S. I thought as far as what Harley Davidson staff was doing there, they did an excellent job with the registration. I had not pre-signed up all the way, so they had to like create a Harley Davidson card for me and had to sign all my waivers, but the iPads and everything were connected solidly. And I would say by the time the first riders got there until the first time that people set out, it was maybe only 20 minutes. Autobots, roll out. We roll. So they were getting people registered quickly and getting them to their bikes. And so as you have seen in the videos, I had rode the 2021's Lowrider S and Sport Glide. And you know, in those videos, I say what I do like and not like about them from, you know, just a a reaction because that wasn't really a review and so I thought it was again handled very well the one thing I did not care for with our particular demo day was the route I see all these other demo day events where you know they're going on some like twisty-ish roads they're getting on the highway a little bit which we did plenty of highway in Mars but they they weren't doing just straight line roads they were doing twisties and turns and even if we had to just like make right hand turns left hand turns from a stop that would have been more entertaining than basically turning right on the main road and just going straight we went straight until we got to the highway so you couldn't even really get a feel for 
how the bike truly handles and then you're expected to take it up on the highway. So I know they put lots of effort into it, but at the same time, I don't know if that was a, a rawhide thing or if that was the demo truck thing who created the route for it. Um, reason I'm wondering is if it was rawhide, I wonder if I could go up there and suggest a test ride route. I don't know if that test ride route that we went on is what they take all their patrons on. I've never rode a test bike up there before, so I, I, I don't really know. But if that's the road that they go on, that's not really a very good selling point to me is just to go straight. Right next to where you go straight, there's a road that, yeah, it's only like 45 mile per hour, but you do have a little bit of some S curves to it. Sean Connery, it's still your board. Uh, I'll take swords for 400. It's actually not swords. And then you could have still hopped back on the highway if you really, really wanted to. I thought, again, the event itself was put on very well done, very professional. It was hotter than Hades out there. And they provided refreshments. They had soda, water. They had some chips. They had a lot of different things to keep you hydrated and nourished. So you're not malnourished or something? I don't know. Maybe that's sure. But I'm curious to know what your guys' demo days are like in your area. Again, if you watch my video, it's a bunch of straight lines and then a highway. So go ahead and drop your comment below as far as what the, your experience was. Uh, was the process smooth? Did you have trouble with it? And uh, what is your favorite memory from a demo day? Was it a particular bike? Was it just the fact that you were spending time maybe with friends? What, what was it? So go ahead and post that below. And as always, I will catch you guys on the next Dark Side because this is the way. Uh, sounds like the chopper fit is backfiring. Woo! See you on the next one.